Man United Takeover, Sheik Jassim's lack of photos and rejected Old Trafford visit explained. Manchester United Takeover, Sheik Jassim is keeping a low profile as he battles to secure power at Old Trafford. A lack of photos of Sheik Jassim is because the Qatari billionaire likes to keep a low profile, according to reports. The businessman clearly prefers to operate with secrecy and direction, despite his determination to buy Manchester United. And it's still unclear where he stands in the race, with the Glazers yet to make a final decision on their asset. Ever since Sheik Jassim first confirmed his desire to buy United, there have been few images of the Qatari billionaire doing the rounds. And the Athletics say his representatives claim this is because he is not somebody who wants to be in the public eye. Sheikh Jassim also opted against attending Old Trafford for talks back in March, unlike competitor Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe arrived in person, along with trusted ally Dave Brailsford, and was given a tour of both the club's stadium and Carrington training complex. Qatar, however, had 9-2 Foundation presidents Shahzad Shabazz and Fadi Bako's spearheading negotiations. But the publication says Sheikh Jassim believes it would have felt presumptuous to make himself visible. The report says a lack of dialogue between the Rain Group and the Qatari businessman is viewed as notable at this late stage. His latest offer, which was made on Tuesday, was lodged directly to the Glazers without dealing with the bankers as a mediator. But it's still unclear if it'll be enough to convince the Glazers to sell up and finally leave the club after 18 controversial years. Avram and Joel Glazer are still described as being the most reluctant to part ways with the Red Devils. Should Ratcliffe get his way and take over United, then the brothers are poised to stay in reduced roles. They'd then be permitted to cash in their existing stakes for a premium within the first two to four years of Ratcliffe's rule. Other members of the family Brian, Edwards, Kevin and Darcy are eager to bank their shares. But the Glazers are yet to make a final decision and, as the summer transfer window creeps closer, the need for clarity is evident. Meanwhile, ESPN journalist Mark Ogden recently claimed Sheikh Jassim and Qatar could look to buy United if their attempts to purchase the Red Devils fail to pay off. PSG was a great move, for the club's Qatari owners, because it's Paris, it's a great city, but I think they've found over the years that League One is just not big enough, he said. They want the Premier League footprint. Somebody told me recently, they said that if the Qataris don't buy Manchester United, they'll be back and they might end up buying Tottenham. He said, look, if you've got Manchester City owned by Abu Dhabi, you've got Newcastle owned by Saudi Arabia, if Qataris may be by Tottenham, then you've got three clubs who can pull away. Every year, it would be United, Liverpool, Chelsea and Arsenal fighting for fourth spot, which is quite a terrifying prospect for them. United have struggled to win the big trophies under the Glazers. Sir Alex Ferguson succeeded in ensuring the Red Devils claim Premier League and Champions League glory during his time in the dugout. But, since his retirement in 2013, United have got nowhere near both prizes. Fierce rivals Manchester City, however, are closing in on a treble that would see them emulate United's class of 1999. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free.